In this video, I'm going to be talking all about these little dials on the front of your airbrush and what they're used for and how you can best use them. Let's get into it right now. So the two airbrushes that I'll be focusing on today that both have the Mac valve, are the Awada CMC Plus Micron and the GSI Creos. PS770. So you can see I've got my PSI set at around 40 PSI, just under three bar on my compressor. So you'll notice that I've got the Mac valve totally screwed out and I'm getting full PSI. And when I go to wind it in, you'll hear that the PSI will drop to the point where I can totally shut the air off if I wish. So you can clearly see now that's all the way in and then to open it back up, just wind it out. Same thing for the Creos, it's all the way wound out and we're getting that full air and then as you wind it in it shuts it off. I'm going to add some paint just to do a bit of a paint test. I'm going to unscrew the air cap because I prefer to paint without that. Exposing the needle, just be careful not to drop your airbrush. And you'll see Using the brush with that thicker paint and the dial completely wound out, I'm getting it to flow as a normal airbrush would. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is with the Awada, I'm going to wind this in. And what that's doing is you can hear it now, it's restricting the flow of the air coming out of the front of the airbrush. So the compressor is still pumping in the same amount of air at that 40 PSI that I showed you earlier. This wheel just allows you to wind it back to the 40 PSI or wind it in so that you shut that air off. Now what's the benefit of that? Well, I'll show you with the Micron now. So the GSI that I tested just before was running with this wheel completely wound out at the 40 PSI and I ran the paint thicker. The beauty of the Mac valve is that when you wind it in like so and you reduce that airflow, what you do is you over thin your paint, which I've done here. So I'm running at about 30% paint, 70% reducer and I'm gonna wind that in. And what I'm also gonna do to help with some fine detail is remove the air cap. And one cool little feature with the Micron is you can see that little ring on the back of the adjustment screw. You can see that's the adjustment screw there. You can get your air cap, just put my finger there to stop it from spinning and then screw the air cap on like so. And now it's not gonna fall off and you're not gonna lose it. So very handy little idea that Awada has built into the Microns. So just to start off, I'll show you now. Keep in mind my paint is a lot thinner. So you can see that's with it wound out. Now if I wind it in, I wind it in as I'm painting. Here we go. So only minimal air flowing out of the front of the airbrush. Just let it wear in a bit. Might have to go a little bit more. You can see it's starting to work nicely now. Nice fine lines. Might wind it out a little bit. So you just gotta find that happy medium. So I've done the same now with the Creos. I've wound this in and I've over thinned my paint and I'm gonna just do some quick demos of how it performs. Again, this is just a quick setup. If you spend the time and actually dial it in, you can really get some fine detail out of both of these brushes, no problem at all. So 
So as a quick summary, I think with both of these brushes, they're both fantastic airbrushes, whichever one you choose. I think the Mac Valve is definitely an asset. I do use it quite regularly in my artwork when doing fine detailed work, as it just makes the whole process a lot easier. You can really over thin your paint, cut off that airflow, and get the ultimate performance out of these airbrushes. And let me know in the comments if you use your Mac Valve and you find it handy, and do you have any tips for people that have an airbrush with a Mac Valve that I haven't covered? Leave all that in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. So to continue your learning, be sure to check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye for now.